Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Into the Breach Custom Squad Time. And are we really gonna go for three SWAT mechs? It would complete the achievement. Mech Specialist beat the game with three of the same mech, and Flying Specialist beat the game with three flying mechs. And these are the last achievements that we need to, um, to unlock the secret squad. And we've gotten every other achievement in the game and we're almost, you know, we almost have enough coins to unlock Secret Squad. I kind of want to make it work. And I think we can make it work. We're going to take, not play spool, they suck. We're going to take, um, oh my god, change time traveler. Kazak, because they have a melee attack. They can go on... I guess I literally don't know what mech they're going to be a part of, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> And we're gonna try, we're gonna try to make triple swap mech work. We need a lot of upgrades to upgrade the range on the teleport, but this could be a lot of fun. So let's see what happens. We'll start, let's do it. You know, even if this fails, it's gonna be hopefully a fun experience. Salty Toad says, I've never played this game, it looks so complicated. Fred says, it's just weirdo chess. That's pretty much exactly what it is. It is just like a weirdo chess game. You just have to pay attention to what the enemy's doing and act accordingly. It's really not that bad. Hard only? Oh, yeah, I have uh, I have done this campaign hard only. Uh, I tend to play on uh, hard mode in a lot of video games that I play. Defend artillery. You know, I can't, we have to do this mission anyways. I like doing this first because it gives us an extra shooter. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> we have three swap mechs. <laughs> And, uh, and a time pod. So, like, my idea, my, my long-term idea, is to upgrade the teleport range on these guys, and then what we can do is we can just, uh, like, teleport our enemies into pits and water tiles and spawn points, and just, then just keep them moving around. Blocking spawns, killing them instantly. It'll be weird, but it, it should work, I think. So we'll start with this. He's still webbed! <laughs> really? All right, so we're gonna have to swap again. He's still webbed. I had no idea that would happen. Um, and then we'll have you block a spawn. But like, this is the idea. We, we just teleport around, we mess up the enemy positions, and then we have one Kazak mech, this one, who can actually do a melee attack if we need it. This is gonna be so weird. We could have also done this turn differently so we don't get hit for one, but whatever. We all get hit for one. Who cares? Who freaking cares? I hate that you're going to keep webbing me. And apparently if I teleport, you'll still web an enemy or web myself, which is which is funny. Um, so how do we do this? Well, I would like to teleport you onto the spawn point and have you block a spawn. I would also like to kill these boys. You know, if we um, teleport the Scarab back one, then the Scarab will block the shot and then die. We could just move, go onto a spawn point. You can just come down here and take a shot. Um, and then we have Kazak, who could block a shot and Attack, which will kill the the scorpion, which does seem pretty decent. And then you can block the shot of the firefly, and then, you know, this swap mech, I don't know, you might as well just block a spawn. You know what? Why not just kill these guys? <laughs> I'm overthinking it, but that turn still totally worked. That was That was pretty good. All of our units are gonna have one HP, but we'll we'll deal with it. You can't do anything. This is interesting. Oh god. No one die, please. That's all I all I want. No one dying. And we do have an attack that we can utilize if we want it. We also need 
to block spawns and repair with everybody. So maybe we'll just do that and we'll weaken this guy. I guess we could have killed him, but... Oh, you, um... I have to reset. Turn. Uh, I, you know, I actually don't have to. I can just teleport. But I, uh, I forgot that the swap mech doesn't actually... Or rather, the Mantis has no heal. Teleport chain? I guess we could dunk the Firefly if we wanted to. But no, we, we've got a better option. And that's... Kill. By doing it like this. And then we can still block two spawns. And the only one who can't really do anything is the Mantis, um, because they have no heal, they only attack. So if they light on fire, because they fly, they also cannot put out the fire. We have to use smoke to put out fire on a unit that flies. I mean, I'm gonna tell ya. I think we're gonna kill <laughs> with the teleport swap and then you're not gonna you're not gonna die so I might as well just hit you off of the building or teleport you off of the building nah just I'll smack you one that's still pretty good end turn yeah there's no way we can kill the scorpion everyone will live and we'll get one reactor that we can use to extend the teleport range of one of these units. You know what's gonna be hard? And I really should have done something about this beforehand. I should have changed the color of the mechs because I can't tell them apart. They're all just the same damn mech. Fire, uses per battle one plus one use. That's actually kind of cool. So can I, um, can I change the mechs? I can't, oh, that's so dumb. I, I really need to change the mechs. I'm tempted to just like restart right now, but I really shouldn't. Well, so uh, you know what I'm actually gonna do? <laughs> Into the breach, change mech color. Any way to change the colors of the mechs or faction within the campaign. No, sorry, this is Battletech. I don't know why it went to Battletech. You can change the mech colors mid-game using the gamepad. Not mouse and keyboard, though. Re okay, hold up, hold up. Using a gamepad, not mouse and keyboard. Okay, hold up, hold up. I gotta go plug in my, my controller <laughs> one second. All right, I have found both my controller and a cable capable of plugging it in. Use a marker and color them how you want. Unfortunately, this is a new monitor. I'd rather not draw on it. Okay. You it freaking works! Swap mech. Um this okay, R customize. Let's freaking go. So we want this mech to be kind of green because it's it's got the mantis in it. So dark green, let's go for the, the slightly lighter green. So this is gonna be, oh my God. Let, let's, let's do the colors first. I'll do the name second. Oh my God, just accept. Okay, so you're a Kazakh mech. You are going to be orange mech, and you are going to be, you, we might as well change them all. You can be um, blue mech. Swap mecho, there you go. It's, it, it actually worked. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the internet actually has some pretty good information and knowledge. You just gotta know where to look. So now we have mechs. Stormworm, thank you very much for the resub, by the way. Welcome. Hello. Um, this is going to be the Mantis mech. This is going to be... Orange mech. <laughs> this is going to be... Bluish mech. There you go. Now we actually have three individual mechs. We also have Kazakh 
Kazpaklik, who um, really should be Mighty Odin because, you know, that's who he was. Dylan Berezin. You can be a storm worm. Thank you very much for the sub, by the way. And Serena. You can be, uh, you know, you're you can be storm worm because you're a, a like robotic pilot and a one worm name. One word name like that is kind of kind of cool and sexy. Um, you uh, orange mech. You can be Fredacula. Fredacula. I hope you like orange as your color. Sweet. So now we actually have mechs that have a a uniqueness to them that's gonna make it easier to figure out who's who in the future. Perfect. We also have a fire beam. Fire is a beam that applies fire in a, in a straight line. Could be good against the, um, the uh, boss, who I can't actually uh, see who it is. Uh, it was Blob, I think. Uh, but we just wanna start upping up the teleport range, so we're gonna have, we're gonna have Storm Worm, AKA, Bluish mech, you're gonna be the plus one range. There you go. So now we have a, a two range teleport mech. All right, <laughs> it's been done. <laughs> All right, let's do a mission. We, you know, I like a mission like this. Lots of pushing enemies into the drink. Let's do it. All right, so now we have Mantis mech, who's gonna go here. Orange mech is gonna go here, and bluish mech that's gonna go right there. Yeah. What is this crazy mech setup, asks Stormworm. This is trying to get two achievements in one mission. <laughs> that's what this is. Oh, dude, I love it. They're all dead already. So I, by the way, I want the enemies to spawn on this mission, because if we let the enemies spawn, we can freaking kill them. So how do I how do I do this? We're gonna teleport. That gives me enough movement to get over here and kill this guy with Mantis Mech, and then you can just come over here, and uh, I'll I'll have you move over here so you you're in a better position to teleport enemies into the drink. Abe is playing the annoy the enemies to death squad. We, uh, we randomed a squad the other day with the Chaos Roll, and it was more of an Annoy Me squad. It was um, Lightning Mech, Judo Mech, and Jet Mech. Literally nothing could move enemies around, except for the Judo Mech, and it's garbage at that purpose. And I, I was, I, I just hated everything about that squad. It was, it was awful. So, you know, I gotta admit, if I just teleport the Scarab over, it'll die to the Alpha Scorpion. The Scorpion will live, but we can dunk it next turn. Um, or we could just dunk the Scorpion now, and then dunk the Firefly, but then we do have a Scarab that's gonna live. I guess I can just literally attack it. So you know what, dunk. You're gonna get dunked. You're gonna get dunked. End turn. This should be a pretty easy mission for us, because it, it works to our benefit. Block a spawn? I don't want to block spawns though. I want enemies to spawn so I can kill them all. I want the experience, look at this. They're all dead. You're dead, you're dead, and you're dead. This is like the easiest mission of all time. You know what, you might as well block the shot just in case I screwed it up somehow. We killed all of them every turn. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get a uh, time pod from that, but that was still good. Defend the satellites, we could easily do that. Do not kill Volatile Vec, we could probably do that. Um, but let's just go for... Uh, you know, let's go for um, satellite launches. I want the stars. I want to be able to afford items. Dude, this is a horrible layout, just saying. Three fireflies, excuse me. Kachik Vic Odin Mighty by the way, in case you didn't know that. This is the Nothing Personnel Kid campaign, says for Dracula. That is what it feels like. So we want to... How do we want to do this? Let's not forget, we do have the ability to, you know, physically do damage. 
I think we want you to go into the drink. I think we want to kill you. And then I th we could let ourselves get hit, but if we get hit, we'll be on fire. I think I might just let this guy hit the satellite for one. I don't know uh, which satellite is gonna go first. Hopefully it's this one, because it's gonna be wounded slightly, but I, I like this, this is fine. Let's, um, let's end turn. I really don't want to light myself on fire because we have to repair to put it out. And teleporting doesn't really accomplish that much. It just saves one HP, which doesn't really matter. So let's just end turn. You're splitting the experience like hell with the squad. It's, um, it's fine though, because we want them all to level up relatively equally. They'll get there, they'll get there. So this is, um, this is pretty good for us. We'll just smack you once, you'll do nothing. You're already doing nothing, but you might as well block a spawn and do nothing. And then, um, I mean, in theory, we could block a spawn with our bluish mech, but you might as well just like, I don't know, try to lure some enemies into attacking you so you can just teleport out of the way, I guess. There's gonna be four enemies next turn. That does kind of blow. It's not like we can do much about it, though. You know, I suppose what we could do is block a spawn and then teleport the Scarab. So now we have, we have a couple of units on one HP, but there's also gonna be a couple of enemies on one HP. And if I'm lucky, I can get the Firefly and the Scarab. Well, no, because the Firefly and whatever spawns here, they're gonna be stuck in this little corridor. They won't be able to get out. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> Let's end turn. You know, no one's really doing that much to us. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could have teleported the Scarab so that it got blown up by the rocket. That would have been a little bit smarter. So this is an interesting one. Um, I could just block the shot and you'll die. If I teleport, if I teleport, you're dead, but not first. But if I teleport with the orange mech, I will block a spawn. And we can always just smack you to kill you. Although we can't position ourselves anywhere because we'll die. Yeah, so we can't do that. Um, I guess I could just smack someone to death. I could come smack you to death. Blech. I would like for you to block a spawn though, because if I have you block a spawn, you'll die. So I am like, okay, what if we teleport here? Ah, but if I teleport here and teleport you there, you're gonna block the spawn. Or you're, you're gonna die to the shot anyways, which I guess is fine. So we teleport. This is weird, but I, I think this is the play. Teleport. Back off. Teleport. So the Firefly will hit us, but then die. The Scarab is gonna die, and the Scarab's gonna kill the Scarab, and then we're gonna have one additional unit spawn, and the Scarab's also gonna die. So a lot of things are dying on this turn. This seems good. We are, you know, still spreading out the experience, but, you know, we'll get a level up soon. We only need one more kill with the, uh, with the Mantis. And then we're there. So, I need, you do light on fire doing this. I need to find a way to stop you, which means we teleport, Actually, yeah, we, we, tele <laughs> we teleport and then we can hit you and you're on fire and you're dead. What a weird ass squad, but this is still a lot of fun. <laughs> you might as well repair. 
and we, we did get a level up and it's HP which on a unit who can't repair that's not that bad dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> plus two mech HP we'll take it and we have to do one more mission do not kill a Vec protect the bar I would like more stars not killing the Vec can be annoying but if all we got to do is teleport away from it every turn it's really not that bad I do worry about other buildings possibly getting hit but maybe we can make the volatile Vec hit other things Connie says anything not grid defense is a positive positive you're right about that this mission is gonna be easier so we'll do this one with air support By the way, Mati Odin, I don't know if you've seen, but you are my, um, <laughs> my Mantis mech these days. You're, you're back in the squad. Mighty Odin says, uh, they're just stopping by. Hard day at work. Working in a fur furniture assembly company. Connie says, I did moving for half a year and that was tiring enough. Yeah, I can, you know, mad respect for anyone who does, you know, intense manual labor for, for a living and comes home tired. Take a break, you deserve it. Let me tell you, the sofas don't come with the legs attached, says Mighty Odin. I need a new sofa. You think you could hook me up? We had we've had we have a sofa that's falling apart. We've had to like turn it upside down and like hammer pieces of wood to it so that it can, can support weight. People like flopping down onto the couch. You can't do that, you break your furniture. How do we get out of this situation, by the way? Because we only have a, a one range teleport here. What about, um, no, if I teleport here, I still die. It's like the only way out is to teleport the scorpion away but even if I do that we're still in the range of the airstrike how do I how do I keep myself alive in this situation like <laughs> how, do, how do I how do I stop myself from dying here hold up can I? I, I? Am I just... Is someone gonna die? Because of the web? If only I could, like, teleport a unit and then hit them with the Mantis mech, but it will kill them if I hit them with the Mantis mech. Man, I really need to I, upgrade these units with plus one teleport, because if I could teleport a range of two, I could, I could be okay here. Um... If I teleport someone in, they will still be webbed. I think someone's gonna die on this mission. I, I don't know how to keep everyone alive. That, I mean, this would be a kind of absurdly bad, but I just don't see a way out. Because if I teleport, I'm still dead because I can't move, and if I teleport someone in, they're still dead because I can't move. Hold on, there, there's gotta be a way out of this. There's gotta be. I can't teleport the enemy away because if I teleport the enemy away, I'm, I teleport myself into the hazard and I can't hit myself with the mantis because I don't have the HP. What I need, like this is strange, what I need is a unit to level up, gain health, and then I can teleport them into the, the airstrike and then hit them out with the mantis, but that's not how that works. Hold up, th there's gotta be a way. What if...
What if we... What if... Okay, hold on. What if we teleport? Fujut. Teleport. Fujut. But you're still in the freaking hazard tile. What if you teleport? Teleport. Teleport? Teleport? You'll be there. You can move. You can get out. The fact that when you teleport, you're still webbed is what screws it. Because it, I think if if a teleport broke the web, we would be fine. Which one of us one of us is it gonna be? Says Fredacula. Stormworm says, "Ha ha, I am in danger." <laughs> okay, Wiggum. You are in danger. I'm gonna have to flip a freaking coin here. Yeah, we can't move after we teleport. Like, teleport? A teleport? What if we teleport here? No, doesn't work. If you teleport here, you're gonna still gonna be webbed. If you teleport up, you're still in the freaking tile. Don't think coins have three sides? Well, we're not gonna lose the Mantis. They're the only one who has an attack. We're, and we're not going to lose um, Stormworm in the bluish mech because they have a plus one teleport range. We're going to lose Fredacula if anyone here, unfortunately. Sorry, Fredacula. <laughs> I, I, dude, I, I hate this. I hate that the turn one, because of the position of the airstrike, it, because we're in the middle of it, there's nothing I can do. If I had plus one teleport, we'd be fine. But because I'm in the middle of this, I don't think there's anything I can do to get out of it. I'm thinking like, because as soon as I use a teleport, I'm stuck in the airstrike and I can't leave. Teleport one away. The mantis can attack, but then they're stuck there. I have to I have to get all of my units outside of this airstrike, and I can't do it, I don't think. Because like I could teleport out here, but then I have I leave a unit inside the uh, the area. Yell in the radio to call off the airstrike. Yeah, seriously. Like, could you please cancel, please? I'm like, this uh, is there really no way? Again, if I could hit my own mech and have them live, it, this could be different. But because they won't live, if I do a self-hit, I am stuck and someone is gonna die. Destroy your own buildings? That's not gonna do anything. I gotta, how do I leave the freaking airstrike? You're the only one who has the plus one range. Teleport, teleport. I can get my mech here, but they're still dead because they can't get out. Is there any, like I have no other ability that allows me to move either. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I hate to do it, but I am just gonna have to sacrifice the orange mech, I think, with Fredacula in it, because there's, there's nothing here. Destroy your buildings to end the round. I actually can't do enough damage to do that. Sorry, for <laughs> Um Yeah, I, I don't see any way out of this. We are just going to have to get someone killed. Because I'm, I'm racking my brain here. I'm trying to think of a way out. Because... Because moving ends my turn inside of the airstrike, I can't get out. No, all I, if I had one more person with a plus one range, we would be okay. But we only got one reactor power at this point. It's not like it's my fault. It's not my fault, man. So we're just gonna have to, um, you know, die. And they're killing me. I, I would like to point out 
The island is murdering a time-traveling pilot who came to save the world. So, um, you know, just saying they probably don't deserve to be saved. There's, there's no way out, so. Uh, as much as I keep trying to uh, come up with a solution, I really wish I could hit my own unit and keep them alive, but it'll just straight up kill them. Even like a repair push would do it, if we had the uh, the other pilot who could do that, but we can't. Unfortunate. All right. All right. Good goodbye. <laughs> Plug in your controller again to test. Sorry. Chick, chick. Sorry for Dekula. You would think that they wouldn't just like, you know, dump airstrikes down without paying attention to where they're doing it. I guess they just have no consideration at all for our lives. My bad, oops. This is still fine though. Hey, now you have plus three grid defense, which is not good at all. And then, teleport here. We can still get out of this mission fine. We're just gonna get out of the mission without um, the experience on the pilot, without them leveling up either. Parting words, very inspiring. Okay, I also don't know if I can stop you from hitting a building, which is fair. Um, but we can certainly kill you. And then we could certainly... I guess we'll just teleport here. We do have to survive one more turn, but I'm, you know, this is literally just about survival at this point. Doesn't the island CEO say something like, we get, this, we get these jets going, but our pilots have no idea how to fly them. I would expect them to crash, not kill me then, <laughs> you know? Because they are killing me. They're murdering me. Well, we'll get, um, I mean, we don't even have to do that. We'll just do it like this. Do it like this. Let's get out of this mission. Losing a pilot sucks, but losing the mech for the whole mission was like the worst part about that. Cause we'll, in theory, we'll get a new pilot and that only costs us one um, reactor. One, sorry, not reactor, one corporate rep. Redacula died after taking severe damage in the battle against the creatures. He wasn't fighting the creatures, he was fighting the freaking pilots. I also don't know how I'm gonna destroy five goos. Um, this is gonna be a very tough one. There is water, but the goos are massive, so they're not going to they're not gonna drown. We have to make other units hit the goos or just keep the goo alive and forget Perfect Island. We could also use the fire beam um, uses per battle one. I suppose it's not the worst thing in the world, but I do like having the plus one range. But if we do equip the fire beam, you know, we can light some enemies on fire once. I don't know, Let's let's just give it a shot. And as a punchline, I got the grid defense passive. Says Stormworm. Yep. Not not the best uh, situation for anyone. Okay. Mantis. No, we want Mantis to be there. Orange Met can be there. Mantis can be there. You can be there. The large goo is going to move here and attack the orange mech. The firefly is going to move uh, probably here and attack the corporate tower. I can have the goo or I can teleport the goo or the firefly so that they attack each other, but the goo is gonna, you know, be alive with a lot of HP. We might just step to the side and light them on fire. 
just so that we can start the process of killing some goos. And the Mantis is just gonna go straight for the Scarab on this turn. You know, I, I suppose we have an attack and I keep forgetting about it. It is the Mantis. The Mantis can always just hit the goos if we need him tos. But I, I actually kind of like this turn. We're gonna teleport. I think we're immediately going to light all of this on fire, which will also burn units when they spawn in. And then you're just gonna keep this safe for a moment. So the, the goo's only gonna have, the goo's not gonna attack, it's gonna explode on the next turn. The firefly's gonna die immediately. This enemy's gonna be on fire, and then this enemy is gonna be on fire when it spawns. Now you will hit a building, but that's just a, a single teleport. You're dead. I suppose we could um, hit you to split you. If we really wanted to. We do need to teleport you so that you die. I like having the line of fire here. Actually, it's kind of nice. We should probably block a spawn and light. Uh, lighting a tile on fire doesn't really do much. We should probably still block a spawn though. I like the sound effect of lighting on fire. The large goo is gonna die. And then it'll split. And then we'll have to we'll have to kill the goos. So let's make sure we can get close enough to deal with the goos. You gotta teleport here. Now you're dead. I think we'll just block a spawn. And we might as well light the, light the tile on fire. We you know, like there's no reason not to. So we only have two turns to kill all the goos. I, I don't know if we have the time, but we'll try. Again, the, you know, the Mantis can kill one per turn. Maybe I can get these guys to teleport onto the fi fire, but then I'll burn myself. You know, I could get the goos to uh, attack each other, which looks like that's gonna happen here. So you're attacking him, so he's dead already. If we move here and then hit you, you will split. And then I might be able to get this medium goo to attack a goo. Goo goo. Um, yeah, and then we can also block a spawn using the orange mech, so I, I kind of like that. We'll take one damage, but in theory this gives us a chance at killing some goos. It might be best, though, just to um, get this teleport done with, because we know we're going to do this anyways. Alpha Wolf, thank you for the gift sub. I suppose what we could do is this, and then the goo will burn. It's not gonna burn fast enough that it'll die next turn, but if I can do one da additional damage to it, maybe it will. Yeah, you know, this, this is interesting. The goo is now gonna be on fire, and you are also on fire. We might actually get this freaking achievement done. You block a spawn. You're dead, you're dead, you're blocking a spawn. There's only goos next turn. There's still a chance, because this goo's gonna die immediately. I suppose if I kill this goo, it might explode into uh, goos that burn immediately. Hopefully you attack my orange mech. We'll see. You're in a building. So you have to teleport. You can teleport here and shoot straight. <laughs> if I move you here, you'll hit the mountain, though. I really want the Firefly to kill the goo, but I don't think I can arrange that. We only have to kill two goos. If I hit you, 
You die. And then I only have to kill the medium goo. How do we kill the medium goo? I don't know if we can. If we do, it's gonna be like this. Hit him, light him on fire, and then try to find some way of making this goo kill the other goo. Because if I do this, in theory, one goo will spawn here, and then one goo will spawn here. Um, so if we move first, that should cause a goo to spawn here, and then if I teleport, it'll kill the other goo. Did I figure it out? Because that's five goos. We'll burn, but we'll live. And you're attacking nothing. I think we got perfect island. <laughs> <laughs> there we go <laughs> that's stupid that's stupid we did lose a pilot but we did get perfect island which means we can get a new pilot after attacking gain one tile of free movement that's actually really good that's really good alright so Shenrong you are no longer for Dacula you are now Connie you know what? No. Connie's been here forever. Alpha Wolf. Relatively new face. Gave out a gift sub. There you go. Alpha Wolf. You can now sidestep. After attacking, gain one tile of free movement. Also, spend rep. Yes, yes. Pull. We're going to take Attraction Pulse. You know how nice it would have been to be able to pull my unit off of the... Uh, Hazard tile on a previous mission? Yeah, it would have been worth a lot. So we're gonna give you plus two range. Orange Mech will have the attraction pulse and plus one range on the teleport. We'll slowly start building up the teleport ranges of everything. But for now, this is looking good. We need to get a lot more reactor power, but that's for the next island. Let's get the heck out of here. Leave island. 